Hey guys, Kev here, and I have something to check out. So I got a package from Colin. He uh, sent me some Devo stuff, and um, he sent me this to check out. I haven't checked it out yet, so let's see what we got. This is apparently a GE or JE made slip joint. So I've always wanted to check one out just because I've kind of gotten into slip joints and well, you know, so I right off the bat hate this lanyard with a passion. I guess he carries it uh, raw dog. He doesn't put it in a slip or anything. It's got carbon fiber, which is interesting. It's sort of your normal weave carbon fiber. You're dead centered and you have this a uh, hole, right? Slot instead of a fuller. And right off the bat, I can tell you, I don't really love the uh, pinchability here. You don't get a lot of room to grab. Um, you can obviously get your nail in there and then pop it, but that's sort of unfortunate for me. Got good, uh, good snap open there. It says JE made 2021. You've got this stonewashed finish. I can see why Colin likes this. It's got the stonewash. He likes stonewash. It's got the spear point. He likes a spear point. Nice thin grind. I like that. S35EN. That's decent. I think these run about a couple hundred bucks. Um, good size knives. Fits pretty good in the hand. I'm actually carrying a slip joint today. So I have my, um, I almost said cyberpunk, my cyborg from Jack Wolf Knives in the pocket. And I'll grab some other slip joints so you guys can see. We have the James Brand Wayland right here. And I'll grab the Ohio River Jack from traditional pocket knives as well. Uh, usually slip joints are all in that same sort of size range to be honest and as you can see, they're all in that sort of size size range right there. Um, so definitely something to note. Close that one up. Close this guy up. See that? I'm getting better. I am getting better at one hand in these pups. I haven't done this one before, so I'm just curious if it'll cut me. Nope, I had plenty of room there. I'm growing some balls, guys. Growing some balls. So then we got this guy. We just check where we're at here. So that faux bolster should be fine right about here. Give it a pop. Yeah, the walk and the talk, I got to say, feels very, very good. This is probably, I hate this nail neck or fuller, whatever you want to call it. This is probably the best walk and talk I've felt other than a Jack Wolf. And it's man, it's almost close to that. Hard to tell on that first pull because I just absolutely hate this uh, cutout. I would want a... I will check their site because I actually kind of want one of these. And I'll see if they have a sheep's foot that has a taller area to grab. I would dig that. Now, it's very modern in the sense that it has this sort of finger troll right here where you'll see on a jack wolf, you have, uh, what did I say, sharpening choil? You have the kick right here. And I guess you do have a sharpening choil, but I don't know why it looks, I don't know. It's interesting to me. Um, I guess because there's no uh, kick right here, because there's a stop pin, maybe it looks a little bit different but i guess it's not really that different so maybe that was just in my head there for a second um but i do think the full or the titanium scales and then having the camo carbon covers makes this still have a lot of traditional look to it yet that flair of modern where this kind of just feels like a modern -y knife because of the um full uh camo or the full carbon scales but trade-off is this thing is stupid light so yeah i'm definitely gonna see if they have a sheep's foot style one um i can get it but it's just you know i i'm learning here and this is definitely addicting really good walk and talk honestly uh, i wonder who makes these 
Uh, my guess would be if it's not whoever makes these, and it would be Riot. Uh, seems flush there. Flush there. That's the one downside. Um, flush there. Do you hear the spring is a little bit bigger there than the than the um, tang of the blade? Um, do you hear it when it closes? It makes that thud versus that nice acoustic because it has a stop pin in there versus working off of a traditional kick. Um, this is really cool though. Uh, I'm glad Colin sent it to me. So uh, I'll probably carry it a little bit. I might just try to uh, drop it into that same slip right here that I have the uh, James brand in. Should just fit right in there. Yep. And then I can carry it like this and try it out. Um, I will say, uh, you know, having these two in now, that there are some good options out there, guys. I have not tried the uh, Riot made ones that Pena has. Uh, that would be another one to check out. But these are not bad. I mean, this is 189 bucks. It's got pretty good walk and talk. Not fantastic, but, you know, I'd put it around a 5 or 6 out of 10 with the walk and talk. This is a notch up. This is definitely just got a little more spring to it and a little bit stronger pull, and I'm really digging it. And then the weight, you add all that, and it still has a traditional look. It's, it's very interesting. Um, definitely digging it. So that's the JE made. Slip joint. I don't actually know the knife or the uh, name of it. I'll have to check with um, Colin on that or just, you know, I'll Google it. Um, but you have that little hammer logo right there. I don't know if that's the JE made thing or, but it's right there as well. So I don't know. Um, looking at the hardware, can I figure out who made it from the hardware? No, it's not ringing any bells. And it doesn't necessarily mean anything if the hardware looks alike, but it doesn't. Rounded screws. I don't know. I think my guess on this would probably be Best Tech would be my guess. Um, Best Tech or something like that. I don't think it would be Riot with these screws. They just don't usually use those button head screws. Um, but dead center, it's made really well. I'm digging it. So um, we'll see if I pick one up along the way again if i can find a sheep's foot i might do that because i'm really liking it so i'm just repeating myself now uh thank you to colin for letting me check this out really appreciate that dude uh definitely got me interested over here um let me know what you guys think down in the comments i love you all i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later